Hi everyone. Um, right, I've just been watching a video uh, from uh, I'm Misty Blue and she's been shopping at the craft barn and she found some little, I think they were bags. Let me just check because I've got her on at the moment. Um, I was watching a video and I made a comment. Let me just check. Yeah, the little light corrugated bags. And I, I just thought, you know, we you could make those yourself. So I've made one and I've used the fawn paint, corrugated paper. I've not painted the inside at all yet. I made mine into it for like a butterfly, although it looks like a bus stop. <laughs> not a bus stop. <laughs> a boob, a basque thing. Um, but it was a butterfly and I... Um, I actually used the bottom half, the, sorry, the top half of that and cut that off and just rounded that like that. And um, just used, I reversed the corrugated paper inside. So you've got it in there like that. I hope you can see that. Um, Crisscrossed the handles like that. Just put one from that side to that and that side to that. Um... Painted it in the form, added some trim all the way around, which did help seal it. Uh, but it stuck anyway, and all you do is just use the hot glue gun. And I glued the card, the um, outer rim, this middle section first, and then attached this onto it as I went around. Got a little bit tricky when you've done one side, but it does work, because you can put your hand inside to do that, to help it and hold it together. So I've used some little bows and trimmings and rosettes um, and then I use the little rosette trim here and here just to show you I could have gone instead of doing that I could have made it all bows but I didn't want to uh, I like the little flower so that's just a little project for you to do um, it's not hard cut your shape out of your card corrugated card uh, and then just attach mine's about an inch and a half wide um, all the way around whatever shape you've done well, you, hey, presto, you've got yourself a little bag. And I think they're cute. You can decorate them up how you want. So I just thought I'll come on and show you that. Try it. Um, even if you've not got um, corrugated card, use thick card if you've got that. Cut any shape out. Attach your... Um, I've shown you how to attach these. Now let me just show you again. When you're attaching, if you're just using card, right, just, uh, just say, let me give you a strip. Just so you can see what I mean. So this is um, that section, okay? If you're doing one made from card, if you score a centimetre in on both sides, okay? So you're just going to score a centimetre in. I'm not, um, I don't have my score pad handy, but I'm just going to gauge it. So you'll do that, right? And you'll have that on both sides. Then all you do to help it go around any nooks and crannies and corners or whatever... You put little tiny snicks in it, like that, okay, and then when you're going round something that's round, it will bend properly, and then you can glue the tab that way inside, or glue it on that section and hold it in. So it's just a little tip for you. Because doing it like that, you will get round any nook and cranny, whichever way you've done it. S-shape, doesn't matter. You can flick it that way, some this way, you know, all the way around. It's just to help you um, get a better finish, basically. So I just thought I'll tell you that. Um, uh, so go, go along, bit of card. Come on, anybody can get a bit of card. And um, as long as it's a thickish type, and then like I say, with the card that you're going through here... To join the front and back together just snick it what i would have done you see i would have had it and uh, all my little sections would have been pasted onto here glued onto this one and with a hot glue gun these days it's very very quick to do okay so that would have been longer and then snicks cut all the way and then bent and then glued into place to hold that together so i hope you like that hope that's helped Try it. Let us know if you're doing it, because I don't always get the links. Um, and we'll have a look at them. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye for now.